would mean the o-rings have gone bad so in order to take that apart you would take these screws apart all of these and bit by bit these pieces would come out and on the center of this center um, cylinder there is actually two rubber o-rings on there you can buy a kit that uh, shows that comes with those you'd basically slide this piece out replace the two o-rings on it and then take a food base um, lubricant and uh, you know lubricate the o-rings and put it all back together so I mean that that doesn't need necessarily need to be done unless the thing is leaking water or not work not functioning properly um, also these screws back here these need to make sure they're uh, Allen head screw you need to make sure these are always tight if either one of these gets loose the machine will not function properly um, there is another thing as well inside of here I'll turn well right behind here there is a threaded rod that goes top to bottom and basically the threaded rod spins and moves the entire mechanism um, up and down that's what controls the entire thing so that threaded rod right there you know could be uh, lubricated from time to time as well and you would do that by taking these two screws off removing this piece and then you can access that rod to threat uh, to lubricate it um, but yeah, aside from that, uh, the only other things I've done to my machine is I have actually adjusted my grind to a finer setting. I know this isn't something that they recommend doing, but you can remove this little cap inside of the top of the grinder. And this, this piece pops out. You could use a knife or a real small flat screwdriver. Pop it out. There's a Phillips screw in there. Back it out, and this whole piece lifts right out. What you can then do is you can spin this gear, which would be to the left to make it finer. So you'd spin this lower section just and make it a little bit finer and then drop it back down in the same position it was on, put the screw back in, and it will allow you to turn the knob a little bit further so you can get a couple more fineness settings if you prefer to have a real fine grind on it. yours, which I do. Um, I did that to mine approximately two years ago and I've had zero issues with the grinder from it so I would say it's fairly safe to do that and in my opinion much much worthwhile because I'm able to get a much um, uh, much more crema out of my espresso that way um, so anyway it, just real quick if, if you don't know how this system works it, Pretty much everything on this system in this machine is just sensors. There is a power sensor going to this and